friends today are going to draw a lion. Yeah, we're first going to write the letter L because the word lion starts with the letter L. What does it sound like? Ooh, ooh. Yeah, ooh, ooh. lion. We hope you're going to follow along. You need something to draw with. We're going to use crayons to draw and color with. You also need some paper. Paper. You ready to start? Yeah. <laughs> we're first starting with our black crayon to draw with. And we're going to draw or write that letter L first. Let's first draw a line down and then we'll draw a shorter line across. We're going to start here and then we'll come down to there and then a short one there. Yes. You did it! That's our letter L. Pretty easy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now we're going to turn it into our lion. So we're going to start on this side and we're going to draw another line that comes up to match the left side. Yeah. This is going to be the head for our lion. So let's connect the top with a rainbow line for the very top of the head. That's the shape of our lion. Now let's draw the nose. We're going to draw a letter V right here at the bottom. V v yeah, <laughs> for V. And then we're going to connect the top to draw an upside down triangle for the nose. Then we can draw the eyes. We're going to draw two circles. I'm going to draw one here and one right here. Okay. <laughs> and then we can color in the eyes. I'm going to leave a smaller circle white inside like that and then color in the big circle. This makes the eyes look shiny. And if you want to keep the lesson a little easier, you could just color the whole circle in black <laughs> if you want. <laughs> there you go. And then color it in. Yeah, just color it in solid. That okay. works too. What should we draw next? Ears. Ears. Okay, let's draw ears. We're going to draw a, kind of looks like a circle mm. on the left and also on the right. A half circle. Half circle. Yeah, it's not a whole circle, right? Yeah. There you go. Now let's draw the mane. And we're, you could leave the mane off if you want to draw a girl lion, but let's draw a boy lion. We're going to draw a cloud line that comes like this all the way around our lion's head until we get all the way to where we started. There you go. All the way around. Oh, you're doing such a good job. I even like the little extra loops in the middle. That's really cool. You did it. There's our lion's head. Now let's draw the body. We're going to draw two lines coming straight down from the mane. So we'll draw one here and then one here and we want them to be equal. There you go. Oh, I love how close you did it. And you can make your lion body a little bit bigger. Draw another one over here and then draw another line right here. And that could be for the legs. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah. I'm going to do that too, except I'm just going to draw one in the middle. So it's a little different than yours. I love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. They're both turning out awesome. And that's because the most important thing is... To have fun and practice. And practice. All right, you ready to keep going? Yeah. Okay. Now let's draw the paws. We're going to draw two upside down U's next to each other. And you could draw one for that leg and one for this one. Boom. Yep. Oh, I like that yours are small too. Then we can connect the bottom and we'll draw a line straight across. And you could even draw a line right here and then it connects here too. Like this? Yeah, all the way across. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to draw two toe lines and you could draw, you could leave the toe lines off on yours because it's really small. Or like one. Or just one. I like that too. Let's get two on that one awesome. and one on that one. <laughs> then we can draw the back paws. Maybe our lion is sitting down and you could just see the little paws sticking out on the side. So you could draw a little curve on each side. Those are big paws for the back. I like it. And then we're going to connect in on both sides. And then we can draw a little toe line on each side too. What's our lion missing? A tail. A tail. Yeah, let's draw a tail. We can draw a little curve coming out to the side. And we could draw the end of the tail. Let's draw a little U shape at the end. There you go. And then we can connect it with a little, let's, well, let's draw a curve that comes up on one side. And then on the other side, we could curve the other way. Kind of looks like a raindrop shape, huh? Yeah. We did it! We finished drawing our lions. They look really cool, except we're not completely done. We still made a color. Yes. This part we're going to fast forward, but at the end, you could pause the video to match our same color. You ready to fast forward? Yeah!
Olivia, give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring our lions. I love how yours turned out all colored in. I like yours. Oh, thank you. Was that fun? Yeah. I love coloring. We used yellow for the body and the head. We used orange for the mane. And we used pink for what? The cheeks. Yeah, the cheeks. We also added whiskers. Now, our art friends can pause the video right now to match the same coloring. You could also add a background or more lions. And what was the letter that we first drew? L. Yeah, we wrote the letter L and then we turned it into a lion because the word lion starts with the letter L. L. Yeah. You hope we have fun drawing a lion. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Bye -bye.